This is Sean McVay with Sean's Outdoor Adventures. Today is June 18th. Happy Father's Day to you fathers out there. I'm out hanging a few trail cameras and I came across my first chicken of the woods of the year. Yummy! There's a young bear that went through here probably yesterday or this past few days. And it got washed out pretty hard last night in the downpour. I'm going to say a two, three-year-old bear. That's why I carry a pair of pepper spray nowadays. Because you don't want to get between a young bear and the mommy. Okay, now I'm going to show you two simple ways to prepare chicken of the woods. I'll also say that if this is your first time eating chicken of the woods or any form of wild edible, you should only have a small portion and just wait and see if your body has any kind of reaction. And what I mean is eat a little bit and that's it for the rest of the day. Just give it the rest of the day and see how you feel. Because some people can have a slight reaction. As you can see here, I'm cutting up an onion. Some of this onion I'm going to use to put straight into my uh, water for my soup broth. And the rest I'm going to put into a skillet for my saute. For chicken of the woods, you generally just want to use a damp paper towel or damp cloth to clean it, you know, just wipe it off a little bit. If you were to run it under water, it's, it's so spongy that it kind of, um, you know, it can absorb too much and, and get ruined. As you can see here, I'm just cutting it up into bite-sized pieces and that's what I'm going to put into my skillet. If you see any dark or suspect areas, you can just cut those off and throw them away. I personally love garlic and so I typically take a few big cloves of garlic and cut them up. I don't use a garlic press, a lot of people do, but I just feel like, you know, you waste too much garlic using a garlic press in a lot of situations. And like I said, I like garlic, so I like lots of it. I just set the garlic aside and that's going to be added to the skillet much later. I then get a big skillet and put some olive oil in it and then I turn on the heat on high to get it started. I then add the chicken of the woods and the onion to the to the oil and once the oil gets heated up and gets going I'll turn it down to the burner down to like six seven or eight it all depends on how much I have you know obviously the more you have the higher you're going to need to keep the heat to keep everything cooking as well. Now that I got the saute going, I'm going to focus a little bit more on my soup broth. And since I'm very hungry in this situation, I pre-cooked uh, some potatoes in the microwave for about two and a half to three minutes. And now I'm going to cut them up into bite-sized pieces and add them to the broth. I like using potatoes because the longer they cook, the more it thickens up the broth. And I kind of like a little bit of a thickened broth but if you know if you weren't in a rush like I am here you could just put the potatoes straight into the water from the get-go and just let it cook for a longer period of time so now I'm going to turn back to my saute and once my chicken of the woods and onions have cooked for about 10 minutes I'm going to add the garlic in and I just want to note that I did not preheat the skillet or the oil so if you were to preheat them um, you're going to sear the outside of the you know, chicken of the woods and the, the onion a little bit it, and it cooks them differently. So I've just always done it this way. So when you're starting from a cold temperature and then turn the heat on high, you know, it's t typically going to be about 12 minutes that you're cooking them before you add in something like the garlic and the garlic just cooks a lot faster. So once I add the garlic, I'll let it saute a couple more minutes, like five minutes maybe till I see that the garlic is kind of turning that golden sauteed look. Near the end I add a little, just a little bit of salt and pepper and in this situation I'm going to put some of this once it's done cooking on a plate to have and then the rest I'm actually going to pour into my soup that I'm making. and you'll notice that I had a decent little bit of oil in the pan and that actually helps the soup because I don't have any form of fat from like chicken, like chicken fat 
or any other type of fat. And the oil just really helps smoothen out the soup real nicely. I then add a little salt and pepper to the soup as it's cooking. And then I let that kind of cook and I wait a while. Um, and in the meantime, I'm gonna go try my saute. Mmm, so good. Mm. Oh, it's good. So now I'm going to try the soup. Still piping hot. I love soup. Mm. It's good. So good. Still so good. It's so hot too, so I can't eat fast, but I want to just like gulf it down. Awesome. Well, thanks for tuning in to this episode. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I'm enjoying this. Till next time, take care and God bless.